We are following breaking news this hour. We mentioned it that South Parker Road between Florida and Mississippi closure and those impacts. At least one person was rescued from that fire. It's an apartment complex in Arapahoe County. Jalisa Arizari joins us live from the scene and Jalisa, you just got an update minutes ago on the people evacuated. Yeah, we got an update on numbers here. Eight evaluated on scene. They initially had said six, but they brought that number up to eight. And one person was transported with minor smoke inhalation. No firefighters were injured at this, but there is still a very active scene right now. Let me step out of the shot and, and give you a view. Firefighters have been coming in and out of the building. We should preface this fire has been contained. So they're right now doing the cleanup process and as well as probably starting the investigation process. But South Metro Fire tells us it started at 5:30 and had started on the first floor of this building and did have some extension to the second and third floor through the walls. They say there is heavy smoke conditions inside. Residents will find out later today if they are able to make it back to their homes. But we did catch up with one resident who tells us this is not the first fire in this building. He says a few months ago a fire started on the other side of the building and he says those res residents still have not been able to get back in their homes. Here's what he had. It's a nightmare. The, the fact that I was supposed to wake up and go to work and now everything I own is trapped in that apartment and I, all I have is hope that I'm going to be in there by later tonight to acquire important documents or things that I need. Uh, cold has definitely been a challenge here. Um, the parking lot is now an ice skating rink, given the fact that there is so much water that was used in this fire. Fire crews are actually putting out some de-icer or ice melt, I should say, to make sure that these residents who are coming by are trying to do so safely. We have seen a number of residents come in and out a little bit. So it looks like they're at least letting some of them get some of their belongings as this investigation continues on. We should also add that there were two rescues in this instance. Apparently, a sheriff's deputy actually rescued one person right at the start of the fire, the first crew on scene, and then there was a ladder rescue as well. Again, expect to see emergency vehicles out here for a long time today as they investigate the situation. Corey and Erica. Yeah, we just saw Sky 9 leaving the scene, but just moments ago, it was still quite a scene there with a lot of uh, fire trucks and lights, and as you can see, still a lot of firefighters there, so it's going to be like that for a while. Jalisa, thank you so much for the update.